A major development in the Delhi excise policy case has shaken the political landscape as Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal finds himself in legal hot water. Let's delve into the details. In a dramatic turn of events, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal was arrested today in connection to the Delhi excise policy case. The Enforcement Directorate, after issuing multiple summons to Kejriwal, finally took him into custody. This comes after the Delhi High Court denied him interim protection earlier in the day. But what exactly is the excise policy case and what are the accusations against Kejriwal? Let's break it down. Two cases, one by the CBI and one on alleged money laundering being investigated by the ED, have been registered in relation to the excise policy. The case stems from alleged procedural irregularities in the formulation of the excise policy. A report submitted by Delhi Chief Secretary Naresh Kumar highlighted these lapses to Lieutenant Governor Vinay Kumar Saxena in 2022. The report pointed fingers at the then Deputy CM Manish Sisodia, alleging that his decisions as Excise Minister caused significant financial losses. Sisodia was subsequently arrested by the CBI. The ED then entered the scene, alleging money laundering and pointing fingers at ARP leaders, including Kejriwal. The ED alleges that the scam involved giving wholesale liquor business to private entities with kickbacks. They claim that ARP leaders received kickbacks amounting to 100 crore rupees. Recently, K. Kavita, a leader from Bharat Rashtra Samiti, was also arrested allegedly for her involvement. What has Kejriwal said in response to these accusations? Kejriwal maintains that the summons by the ED are politically motivated, orchestrated by the BJP. In court, his defence argued that the summons lacked clarity and were a part of an unfair inquiry. The ED has summoned Kejriwal nine times in connection to the case. As a legal battle intensifies, the political fallout remains uncertain.